new type of weird. So I want to dabble in taxidermy. More particularly, I just want to work with skeletons and the skulls. And I wanted to start out really small. I was initially really inspired by an artist on Instagram that is Phoenix Cry Studios, and you can look them up in the description below. I'll make sure I have their account there. Um, but they do really cool sculptures involving crystals and stuff and they have done sculptures involving skulls and I really like them. They put crystals on them and make them look like really cool geodes. I'm someone who really likes death particularly and dead things. I mean, I like if I have if I have the ability to have a dead thing, I'm gonna get the dead thing. But I also really like crystals because I'm a witchy, I guess, aesthetic kind of person. So my initial thing was I didn't want to get too in depth with it. I didn't want to get like a big skull, end up not liking it, and then it'd be a lot of money. So I knew I wanted to do something really small. So I decided to do a brooch with a bat skull. And so I went to Etsy. Now my first, I knew I knew I needed two things: really small crystals and a skull that would be a good size for a brooch. And so with the first skull I bought, I thought would have been an excellent size, but um, it's tiny. Like it's really tiny. Which I'm not gonna waste this. I'll probably turn it into a little charm and make it into a choker or something. But yeah, it's really really. Tiny. So I had to order a different one. So I ordered from a diff, but uh, this one was from uh, Bizarre Bugs on Etsy, which I'll leave a uh, link down to their thing below because they also have like insects and other taxidermy things if you want to get interested in it. Um, I didn't think they had, I think they had maybe some bigger skulls, but they just weren't the right size or either too big or too small for me. But um, this skull actually got broken, not by the person, but because one of the dogs decided, hey, I'm going to pick this up and drop it, and it broke a little, some of the teeth, so you can kind of see some of the teeth running around in there. So i got to be careful of that. I don't know if I can fix it or not. So the second skull I bought, which came in a lovely jewelry box, which I will continue to use for my brooch. Hello? Focus? It's just not wanting to focus. Hello? Okay. It didn't want to focus. So, I got this one, which is a much better size for a brooch. And this one came from Artem Mortis, I think is what it's, how it's pronounced, on Etsy. I'll leave a link down to that Etsy shop down below, too. Hello? Hello? Why are you not focusing? Okay. But yeah, this one's a much better size. It is a bat skull. It's a genuine bat skull. So if you are not into real dead things, I um, probably shouldn't be watching this. But there's no blood. There's no gore. Just just bones, which I honestly love and I find it very interesting. So what I plan to do with this is I plan to do an initial spray paint of it to just get into the nooks and crannies instead of using a brush painting method because I might actually break it if I use a brush to paint it. So I'm probably going to take it out of packaging and then do a light coat of spray painting on it um, just to make it black. Ooh, is there tissue in there? I think there's still brain tissue in there. That's so cool. Don't mind me, I'm just looking into the like little, little hole in the back of the skull that which the spinal cord would come off. Oh, that's pretty cool. But um yeah sometimes tissue stays in there but it's not harmful. It ain't gonna hurt anyone so I don't really care. So other things that I got nice look I think also the person who gave me this gave me a bunch of little freebie stuff that I honestly love. They gave me a print and this is just my aesthetic. They also gave me a button and they gave me this really cool sticker. So this is just my aesthetic. I love this. I definitely would want to shop from them again. They have art pieces there. Um, they also had enameled buttons. That this like this design instead of just a normal pin button. It's an enamel button and it has this design on it, and it's really cool. And I might buy it. It's, it's, I think it's really cool. But 
I plan on taking these tiny little crystals that I got from Joe's, uh, Joshua Tree Gem on Etsy. I'll link again to that below. They also gave me cute little pretty stuff like this cute little charm, heart charm, as well as just some cool rocks. I like cool rocks. So I plan on taking these and using epoxy sculpt, which I've had for a long time. I've had my own epoxy sculpt. This is a two-part epoxy. You put them together and you mold them because that's basically how the person on Instagram does it. They put epoxy and they put the crystals in. I don't know if I should hot glue the crystals on first just to kind of give them structure and then go back and put the epoxy on there or just shove the epoxy, put, shove it into the epoxy. I don't really know. I think I just because of the crevices and stuff these are just the right size for the skull too so so i'm going to take probably even the smallest ones and basically i'm just going to have them kind of shooting out at an angle maybe have like some coming up here and then some coming through like the eye socket here uh just to kind of give a really cool approach and then i'm going to attach it to one of these, which are just bar pins that I got from Michael's. You can get a bunch of them, they're really cheap. But yeah, that's basically how I'm just going about it. I'm probably just going to like lay things down and kind of look at it to kind of get a good idea of what I want to do. These are really tiny crystals. It's just what I mean. I originally wanted to do amethyst, but I just couldn't really find amethyst pointed crystals in the size that I wanted at the moment. So I just went with clear um quartz crystals but i plan on putting that on and then the epoxy can be hand painted because it's a lot easier to go in with a tiny brush to hand paint it with acrylic paint and then i'll go in with possibly gold paint around those edges just like the other person does or some type of iridescent paint i'm not 100 sure what exactly i'm doing i just have a good general idea and i have done a little bit of research on it so yeah i'm going to attempt to spray paint yeah. All right, so here's a skull spray painted. I kind of like glued it onto the stick and then I spray painted it because when I was originally trying to just spray paint it while it's laying down, um, this it was super light so it got pushed around and it was slightly windy outside and I got scared. So I hot glued it to a stick and after the paint completely dried, I was like, oh my gosh, how am I gonna get this off? So I started scraping away with an X-Acto knife very carefully and then using the hot glue gun while it's heating up to just kind of warm it up a little bit and then slowly like twisting to get off because this is like super fragile. I don't want to break it. So, <laughs> oh my gosh. So I was able to do that. I've also been sorting out all the crystals. These seem like to be the right size of crystals that I need to use. These ones right here are just slightly too big, but I can use it for like a s later on, like maybe on something else. So I'm just gonna put little ones back in the bag. Cause I think like this one is just ever so slightly too big. While this one is just like too thick. Same thing with this one. This one's like short, but too thick. I'm gonna keep these two out though, just in case. Maybe just that one. And that one. Maybe that one. Who knows? Probably not that one. So, when I was kind of looking at how the person on Instagram was doing it, I was just kind of looking at um, what materials they're using. And they used epoxy and epoxy sculpt, which I do have epoxy sculpt, but I don't have like an epoxy glue. So, I'm thinking if I use super glue and glue it on. It might work out well because my plan is to start from the back of the skull and then layer it on and I would like put it on there and then put it all on. So I don't know how it's going to work well with the spray paint on it. The spray paint does create a layer on it but I'm hoping that it works okay. I don't know. I'm just going to be very very careful this entire process because this is a very fragile skull to do so I guess I'm gonna start kind of laying these out kind of see how I want them I'm definitely gonna lay some like under here yeah lay some under there so like have maybe a couple booping out instead of just on the cranium so just have like one here and then bring another crystal up and then another tiny crystal like up, yeah, yeah. 
So I don't know if I want to start like here on this side and make this side just kind of coming up while this side's more the eye. I'm kind of wanting this side to bring more of the flow. So we'll see where it goes. And if the, this doesn't work, I'm going to use the tiniest top of hot glue just to press it on and then use the epoxy to kind of like set it in place. Okay, so my super glue is dry. Oh gosh, it is dry. So I literally cannot use it. So it's gonna have to be hot glue because that is what I have. And I'm just gonna put the tiniest of dollops on just to kind of press it in place and then probably mix some of epoxy sculpt to really like do what I need it to do. So this is gonna be a challenge. I'm also gonna put down this paper towel so you could kind of see better what I'm doing because it seems so dark and whatnot. If you also see how tiny this skull is. Yay. So yeah. I think this one will do well like in an eye socket. So go real back. Okay. So basically I'm gonna put the Oh, that's still too big of a doll up. Oh goodness. Oh goodness. Put that on like that and let it dry. taking up all the <laughs> crystals off that I just put on but I found some crystals I had from like uh, the War Eagle Caverns that I got so many years ago um, and I found that I had a lot of tiny little crystals in there and I think most of them are quartz for the most part except for maybe this one but I don't know but I found a bunch of teeny tiny ones and I was like okay I might be able to use these and so I've got more teeny tiny quartz that I can use, and I'm just gonna start over. Let's go. <laughs>
Okay, so I'm gonna have to take this so much slower because it is coming, the crystals aren't staying in and it's making it harder to keep the bonded together and I'm just sitting here like, where did the crystals go? And all that stuff, so I'm gonna have to hot glue this back on. It would be so much better if I had a better glue. But I don't have like an epoxy glue, so we are going to keep using hot glue. And we're just going to have to take this really slow, and I'm trying not to waste any epoxy sculpt. God, oh, son of a bitch! Okay, so I may have to try to scrape all of this off. Okay. There's that, because it kind of like holds it there, but hot glue doesn't work really well until you have like a shit ton of it. So I'm just gonna start scraping off this epoxy sculpt, try to like mix it in together. And I'm gonna have to see if I can find, like that first one not fine, but then I was working on the second one and it just wasn't fucking working. And it's kind of pissing me off because I don't have any glue. My super glue is completely dried up and I don't want to like also leave a ton of epoxy sculpt on here because I know it will dry that way and forever be there. And the problem is, is when a crystal falls, because I have other crystals around it, I'm like, which fucking crystal was it? And it's kind of really, really bothersome, because I don't remember what's supposed to go where. So, I'm going to have to possibly see if my boyfriend has some type of epoxy. Yay. Okay, because it wasn't working so greatly, I went to my boyfriend and asked if he had any glue. And he had JB fucking weld. So this is something I'm gonna have to wear gloves for because it will hurt me if I don't. It's set in six minutes, so it sets pretty quickly. I am trying to make enough space currently so I can mix it up and do what I need to do. I'm not happy about it. Because I wish I just had glue. Okay, I'm just gonna move everything over. So, this one is all moving this way. I'm putting it here. This is one's gonna have to be more careful, so I am going to attempt to open this. I don't think I can, not without pliers, and I don't want without pliers. Alright, so I put 
A little bit of one and a little bit of other there. Two different sides. Okay, I'm going to use two different and take a dollop right there with one. A dollop. Try to do equal parts. This one, just like my pop is cool. It's really difficult to deal with. And then take another one. Mix the two fairly well. This smells awful. Okay, and then I'm going to very gently quick it says like six minutes more of a doop I'm just going to hold it here for a minute because <sighs> it's supposed if this doesn't work I'm going to get real mad and I'm going to have to go to the store and get fucking super glue or something. I wonder if Walmart sells two part epoxy because I really wanted to get through on this today but you know shit happens. I just don't think there's enough on here. And hold it on. But I'll just hold it like this for like five minutes. So I had to do it again with more of the epoxy mix because it just wasn't wanting to stick. It's gonna be good if I just set it down like doesn't work. <laughs> okay. I'm just gonna hold it gently at this angle for like six minutes because it takes six minutes to fucking cure. <sighs> I'm just upset. Because this is just gonna make everything longer and if it doesn't freaking work. <laughs> Work. It's supposed to put engines back together. Well, you know what, JB? Well, you're fucking sucking right now. Probably not meant for this at all, but you know what? Suck it, JB. Well. Okay, I just want to show off the progress so far that I'm doing here. Because if you look at it, using the JB Weld, you really gotta let it sit in place for at least five minutes, and then you just let it rest for like another five minutes, I think works really well. Even though it says it sets in six, it really needs a full 10 minutes to really make sure that it's doing its thing. But I'm kind of going through, picking my crystals. You look how it's on there. And then I'm gonna get to a point, I think I'm gonna put like maybe two more crystals on here and then start going on with the epoxy sculpt and just because I got a little piece here that it needs to be used. But I'm making sure that I give it a full 10 minutes to set first. And probably after I put that last crystal on, I'm going to give it a full, like, 15 minutes. Just because I don't want to accidentally nudge it off or something. I might even go through and put a little bit more of that 
GB Weld, like right here. If you do use GB Weld, it does have a slight smell to it, so be careful. Also, very make sure you wear gloves because I am I have medical grade gloves, so they it won't soak really through. But yeah, let's do more of this. Okay, after all of the things and putting all these on and letting it set for about like half an hour to an hour completely, I'm going to go in now with the epoxy sculpt and just kind of blend everything together and give it extra support to stay. Because some of these are on there, but not very well. Like this one right here, it's not very well on there, but it's there. Shall we begin? Thank you. 
pool yet? You almost should have painted it last. I wanted to get into the little crevices first because oh. I'm going to go back with acrylic paint with a matte. Yeah, because the, the JB Weld might not like the paint so much. Well, it's keeping it on there for the epoxy skull to be on there. Epoxy skull will bond to <coughs> anything. It's just I couldn't get the crystals to sit there properly. So I needed a glue, either super glue, an epoxy, something. I guess it's very porous too. Mm-hmm. It's, it, it's staying on there pretty well. But I think with all the epoxy, putting it together, getting it in all the crevices and that kind of stuff really helps. Yeah. Are we doing a good job? Mm-hmm. What's it going to be set on? Just going to sit it on this right now? No, like when it's done. done. Is it going to have like a... No, it's not going to have like a backing? I don't think so. It's wide enough to where it hits both these right here. And all you wear is black, so you're going to put a black thing on black. No, it's for my, I wanted to add it on to my costume for the medieval fair, uh -huh. where I wear the white top. Oh, that would look good. Okay. Yeah, and it would be very, very striking, but I'm also going to add either an iridescent color or gold. Because if you were just doing black, then you'd almost need a background color mm -hmm. to help set it apart. I mean, I was going to put amethyst, but I couldn't find amethyst crystals small enough online. Break them. I don't know how to properly break them, so I just want to hammer. Mm, no. They'll be broken. I don't want to like create a mess. Mm -hmm. I think most people use Dremels in order to, because honestly, I could have used it for this to properly cut them to where they would stay on properly. Mm. That would have been nice, but we gotta do what we gotta do.
myself and my camera doesn't know how to focus okay so here we go here's the guy um i gotta just let this dry pretty much for 24 hours and then i'm gonna paint it so you'll see me tomorrow but uh i put some texture in it so it looks pretty cool but yeah Okay, time for the reveal. So I forgot to show the painting process, so this is it finished and whatnot. So, do 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 do. It's pretty freaking bomb. Just wanna show, oop. As you can see here, I attached this pen right here, I did after the painting process, and then I even painted over the epoxy that I used. I used the JB Weld epoxy, so. So yeah. It's really cool. I did some dry brushing with some gold paint. I layered it on closer to the crystals and then more dry brushed it out. And then I also did dry brush the teeth just to give it a little bit more texture. So it's almost like a bronzy color but yeah it turned out really good um i originally made this to wear it for the medieval fair my local medieval fair but it got canceled because of covid19 which is okay i understood why but it still saddens me that it's the one the one year that it's not gonna rain that weekend it, they had to cancel so yeah 
pretty freaking bomb and I really want to make another one so yeah just want to show off my pin actually on clothes pretty cute pretty cute well thank you guys so much for watching this video I hope you enjoyed um just kind of like the process I went through on making this little art piece here um I really enjoyed doing this kind of taxidermy stuff. I really want to do more of it. Um, I don't know if I want to go something bigger, maybe a mink skull or something. I don't know how soon they'll come or not, uh, or if it, even if it will, but I do have some ideas for some different pieces. Uh, so yeah, if you like this video, please give it a like. If you kind of like some of the stuff I do here on my channel, I have videos that you can also watch, feel free to subscribe, and if you really, really like me, hit the notification button. Also, check out my social medias. I do have a Facebook page. I've been trying to be more active on it. I also have a Twitter. I'm not really good on that one, but I also have an Instagram. I actually have two Instagrams. One is a makeup dedicated one, which you can totally check out too, um, but I have a main one, which I do a lot of like posting memes on my stories and showing the art and makeup and all the stuff and dogs if you like dogs you'll get to see the dogs on there so yeah feel free to watch that um i'm hoping to do a full look eventually with that piece of what i originally wanted to use it for maybe go to a forest or like one of those nature centers and run around there but that'll probably be after this whole uh COVID-19 stuff so yeah hope you guys have a wonderful day wash your hands be safe and peace out girl scouts